So now we're at 12,564 and 21,136. Uh, and now we can construct, in essence, our income statement with that. First, we'll take a look at a standard type of income statement type format where we have the total, we have the sales department one, sales department two, or operating department one, operating department two. We've got the sales up top, which is going to be, of course, the revenue, the cost of goods sold. So we're going to subtract this out, sales minus cost of goods sold. That gives us the gross profit on sales. And then typically in a normal type of income statement, we would have the operating expenses. We have the operating expenses, which we're going to be pulling from the worksheet the salaries, the supplies, the rent, the utilities, and then we have the service department one and two, which we allocated out to the uh, sales department, uh, the two sales or operating departments. Now, we can see the items in green are gonna be those direct expenses. The items in red are the indirect or allocated indirect expenses. And then we have the allocated service department in yellow. So if we add those up, we get our total expenses. If we add up all these, all these items, all these expenses, and then the gross profit minus the operating expenses is, of course, the net income. Now we could change this format a little bit and we see the departmental contribution to overhead type statement. Again, it's an income statement type of statement because this is a performance type of statement, but it's going to be broken out a little bit differently. We're going to be starting off the same. We have sales, cost of goods sold, gross profit on sales. We subtract sales minus cost of goods sold. Then we're going to take a look at those direct expenses, the ones that are applied, applied directly to the department. So those, in our case, include the salaries and supplies. That gives us the total direct expenses. We're going to give a subtotal here of the total direct expenses, this being a bit different than we would see on a normal type of income statement because we're trying to get more information by department. So notice a normal type of income statement is really geared, for the most part, for the entire company as a whole. We're here looking at department. We wanna measure same performance type numbers, but we wanna break them out a little bit differently so we can apply them to departments a little bit differently and therefore hopefully make better decisions with it. So that's gonna give us the department contribution margin or the department contribution. And this can be a, an important number because note that we're talking about those expenses which if we were to eliminate a department, would probably go away because these are gonna be expenses applied directly to the department. In, in other words, if these people that earn these salaries work only for that department and these supplies were used only for that department, if we were to eliminate the department, then of course those amounts would go away as well of course with the revenue and the cost of goods sold. The amounts that we apply usually are gonna be more type of overhead type of, of amounts. So when we break out the amount we apply,